let's try to learn the anatomical basis for black eye. We mentioned that the fourth layer of scalp, right, is a potential space which is made up of loose areolar tissue. Any fluid, right, let it be normal fluid, let it be blood, anything that collects in the scalp usually collects in the fourth layer only. Why? Because this layer contains plenty of loose areolar tissue and allows for spread of fluid. What exactly is the anatomical basis of black eye then? What exactly is black eye? Whenever there is trauma to any part of the scalp, not merely injury to the orbit or the eyes. Wherever the scalp injuries occur, it usually results in rupture of blood vessels of the scalp. This leads to gravitation of the blood into or spaces around the eyelid. And this results in this characteristic condition referred to as black eye. Right? What exactly causes black eye? Now let's try to understand. Fine? So what do we have? We have the first layer of scalp and what is that formed by? So we have the skin that is forming the first layer and then we have the layer of the connective tissue, right? So that is the layer of connective tissue and the third layer as we learnt is the layer of the muscle. So we have what layer here? This is the frontal belly and here we have the occipital belly. The peculiarity of occipital belly and frontal belly as we have learnt, so if we have the cranial vault, so let's imagine this is the cranial vault, so let's say this is the cranial vault, as we can see the occipital belly is firmly attached to the cranial vault, right, because it arises from the superior nuchal lines, whereas the frontal belly does not have a bony attachment. Imagine the rest, these two are connected by what? These two are connected by, of course, the aponeurotic layer. Right? So here we have the fourth layer of scalp. Right? So this is referred to as the fourth layer of scalp. Now what causes black eye? Imagine there is a rupture of blood vessel. A rupture of blood vessel, let's say a blood vessel is traversing. We'll draw it in a separate color. So let's say a blood vessel is traversing the scalp and this gets ruptured. Right? The resulting collection of blood passes posteriorly but remember it is prevented by the attachment of the occipital belly to superior nuchal line whereas this can freely flow forwards. This can freely flow forwards because the frontal belly has no bony attachment and it collects over the tissue space of the eye resulting in black eye. So this is the anatomical basis for formation of black eye, absence of bony attachment to the frontal belly of occipitofrontalis.